Greetings, devoted fans of the Bears. Whether your allegiance runs deep with the classic blue and orange or you're just stepping into the captivating world of the Bears' den, this channel stands as your enchanting haven. The verdict on quarterback Tyson Bajan's future is looming, set to be determined in the upcoming week to 10 days, and perhaps it has already been settled. For the Chicago Bears, paying heed to a subtle warning from a local legend might be a wise move. A significant influence on Bajan's journey has been Ken Mastroll, who now operates a quarterback school post his own playing career. In a recent interview, Mastroll implied, you know, hopefully he's there in Chicago and if not I think the other teams that are out there that are seeing what he's doing from a performance standpoint. He's definitely proving his worth. This situation isn't unique, promising young quarterbacks making waves in the preseason often create pleasant personnel dilemmas for their respective teams. The Bears now find themselves at a crossroads, deciding whether to secure Bajan's spot on the 53-man roster or take the gamble of placing him on the practice squad. The notion of stashing Bajan on the practice squad raises concerns, as it could potentially render him a free agent. Although teams occasionally negotiate arrangements to incentivize practice squad players to stay, the situation might be different for a rookie quarterback who demonstrated swift decision-making and reaction skills. Bypassing the limits of any practice squad bonus compensation might be within his reach. The Bears must deliberate carefully about retaining Bajan as their third-string quarterback. This could lead to a reduction in players at another position of need. Weighing the potential benefits of having Bajant as a valuable asset against the constraints of roster space could prove to be a pivotal decision. Embark on an electrifying journey side by side with the iconic Chicago Bears, and rest assured that not a single exhilarating moment will slip through your grasp.